Next Business in Focus is a paid segment by EDU staff. Well, school is back in session, means back to work for teachers, but as always, there is a significant need for substitute teachers. No one knows that more than this lady right here, <laughs> Leslie Soda. She's with EduStaff. You guys are a huge company that places substitute teachers. Tell us what you're looking for. So we are the premier um, uh, sub-service or um, educational staffing company in the state of Michigan. We serve, a, serve well over 400 of the 500 districts currently in the state. And so you're right. We are looking for substitute teachers. And I think there's a misnomer or misunderstanding of what it takes to be a substitute teacher. And that's why... I, I think people are reluctant sometimes. There's this misunderstanding that you have to have a teaching certificate, which is not true. Um, here in the state of Michigan, if you have 60 credit hours from an accredited college or university, on your behalf, we can apply for a substitute teaching permit and we can get you all set up. We're gonna provide you the training. We're gonna provide you with the background check that you need to have done. Um, there is a cost for that, but the fingerprints to be taken so that you um, are a viable uh, it's a substitute in a school district. Yeah. So you can't just show up and be a sub. And this is a perfect, you guys dot all the T, dot all the I's, cross all the T's, get someone ready, and then find jobs for them. Yeah, it's really kind of simple. Um, yeah. they, an interested individual would just go to our website, edustaff.org, big blue button that says start application, and it really walks you through all of the steps. And so at the, by the time you're done with that application, you've already completed about three hours worth of training. Then you're going to come to our workshop that we host throughout the state of Michigan in a variety of areas. And at that training, you get a, a lot more to help you. So you learn how to pick up jobs. There's a dispatch system that most districts use. So you can do it all online, picking up your jobs. And then we put you through about an hour and a half of classroom training. We want our subs to be prepared. Um, and so we give you classroom management tools, instructional strategies that we feel even someone who doesn't have a background in college or excuse me, in education, sure. could still use those instructional strategies in the classroom. Wonderful. Setting everyone up for success. What kind of people, are, aside from the 60 hours, what, what kind of people is this a good opportunity for? Well, interestingly enough, the districts also need substitute uh, custodians, food service, secretary. So not everybody has those 60 credit hours, but they have a passion for kiddos or they want to give back to their community. So that might be something to consider as well. You can also see that on our website too. So you can look and see what the we refer to as employee types that a district might utilize edu staff for. Okay. And so anybody who, you know, it's a flexible schedule, um, you know, you determine when you're going to work. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to this. And, and a lot of different, you know, even younger people this is a good option for. It is. You know, if you talk about young people. So we've been really tapping into our college kiddos. So a lot of college students don't realize because we are across the state. Let's say they go to school at uh, Western Michigan, but they live in Cadillac. When they come home for Christmas break, spring break, end of the year, they could be working right here in the Cadillac area in this ISD and so it's just a, a matter of us transferring fingerprints which is really easy so they can have a good part-time job while in college and then come home and, and give back to their community as well and, and make money yeah wow what a great deal you know and it is it's giving back to your community it's really putting yourself in a place where it's much needed it's, it is very needed. Um, it, we just have a teacher shortage in general. Um, have, that's a trend across the, uh, the country. We have fewer and fewer students going into the College of Ed. Um, we're even kind of hoping if we catch some of those sophomores in college who <laughs> maybe haven't declared a major, uh, they might substitute teach and find out that it's, you know, it's for them. And you talked about flexibility. It is for someone who maybe just wants a couple days a week. Snowbirds, I've mentioned that before. We have a lot of snowbirds in northern Michigan that, you know, they're in uh, Florida or the southern states during the winter and come back in the spring. Springtime is a high need, so we'd yeah. love to have those individuals back and, and working for Edu staff in our districts. Perfect, Leslie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and as always, if you'd like to learn more about Edu staff, get to their website, you can always head to ours. Go to 9and10news.com. This Business in Focus is a paid segment by EDU staff.